Hi, my name's John Linehan, and I'm with Zoo New England, the nonprofit organization that runs the Stone Zoo and the Franklin Park Zoo as well. My name is David Pignoni, and I'm the Director of Physical Education and Athletics at the Stoneham Public Schools. My name is Megan Day, and this is the Stoneham Chamber of Commerce. My name is Adam Rogers. I am the director of the Boys and Girls Club of Stoneham. And the Boys and Girls Club is a youth serving agency in Stoneham that serves youth and families of all ages. Hi, my name is Anthony Guardia, and I'm the director of development at the Boys and Girls Clubs of Stoneham and Wakefield. Hi, I'm Michael Day, state representative for the town of Stoneham. But I wanted to take a moment out just to say thank you uh, to Stoneham Bank for affording me this opportunity to say thank you to Jan Houghton, who's been a huge part and continues to be a huge part of our community. Hi, Jan. This is Dan O'Leary, as the Valley Elder Services CEO. I know you know who I am, and I am so happy to be able to say thank you for all that you've done for Mystic Valley Elder Services and the people we serve, and the whole Stoneham community. Hello, I'm Roy Nagy, Executive Director of the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Borreca, and Jan has been a tremendous friend of our club for so long, going back to our capital campaign to build a new facility when her and Bob Skelly came to the club one day and, uh, with Jerry O'Connor and took a tour and said, we really need a new building. Uh, the bank immediately turned around and gave $50,000 to our campaign, giving us a big boost. And I know Jan was really leading the charge on that whole issue. Hi, I'm State Senator Jason Lewis, and I'm delighted to congratulate Jan Houghton on her 50th anniversary with Stoneham Bank. Jan, as we all know, is a remarkable person. Thank you for your many years of service, both to Stoneham Bank and to so many important community organizations. Hi, my name is Maureen Canova and I'm the Stoneham Senior Center Director. Through partnerships like yours, the Senior Center hopes to continue to be the place where older adults in our community feel supported and welcomed. Stoneham Bank has been an incredible supporter for Zoo New England for so many years and uh, truly steadfast through challenges and, and great times they've made such a difference. Stoneham Bank has been a strong supporter for Stoneham Athletics and for Stoneham Public Schools. In Stoneham we always strive to give our students the best of everything. Unfortunately money is always a barrier. Stoneham Bank has always been one of our biggest supporters. Their message has always been please let us know if the kids need anything. Every time we ask Stoneham Bank has stepped up to the plate. Jan's impact on the Boys and Girls Club has been immense, both through her leadership at Stoneham Bank, which has been one of our longest and most consistent supporters. We can always rely on Stoneham Bank and Jan to be a supporter, as well as her personal support, which means a lot to us. And when you have Jan in your corner fighting for you, you know that you're gonna get things done in Stoneham, and that's great. Year after year, area businesses come together to make events like Town Day, the Summer Concert Series, and the Health and Wellness Expo possible for everyone to enjoy at no cost. Stone and Bank has been a strong supporter of all these events and instrumental in the success of the Chamber since our inception 36 years ago. It's more than evident that there are few people in Stoneham that have done more to champion, nurture, and support our local groups than Jan Houghton. From the Boys and Girls Club to the Stone Zoo to the Greater Boston Stage Company, her imprint on this community extends far beyond her tenure as president of the bank. The chamber has been fortunate to also be the beneficiary of Jan's generosity and support and have become a stronger organization as a result. Stoneham Bank is always there to support Rotary in almost every organization in Stoneham. Individually and collectively, they all make the world a better place for everyone. Whether it's been through Stoneham Bank's employees who have been exceptional members in our club, or through Stoneham Bank's generosity, they have an impact in a remarkable way. You have been an extraordinarily giving, generous person, both professionally and personally, and all of us at Mystic Valley Elder Services can't say enough. Thank you, how grateful we are for all you've done. Uh, Jan is there whenever we need uh, anything in the community. She's often there providing assistance, providing uh, creative thoughts and projects before we even know we need them. I really don't think that we would be around if it weren't for Stoneham Bank. As I said from the very beginning, they've been with us year after year. Jan was our second, the second chair of our board. Really, when this organization was in its infancy, she took charge and helped to, to survive. Most theaters don't survive past seven years. We're going on 20 plus, and I don't think that would happen without Stone and Bank. They've been there every single step of the way. Because of you, um, our Meals on Wheels drivers, 
who deliver meals to residents in our community every day and surrounding communities. Um, they come to the senior center, they pick up the meals and they deliver. And because of you, um, during inclement weather, they are protected um, from the weather. So, and because of you, we have transportation available to seniors in our community who need to get to the grocery store, who need to get to their much needed medical appointments, and who want to come to the senior center for programs uh, and activities. You and I and Jenny Vanessa, our director of development, got together almost 20 years ago now when you were talking about creating the Stone and Bank Charitable Foundation. And one thing led to another, and one of the greatest partnerships that we had, which was your idea, is to connect us with the Stoneham Theater, which is now the Greater Boston Stage Company. And behind me, you may see some of the posters that we've had that you've been the lead sponsor as the bank for the past 20, um, almost 20 years now. And it's been a great partnership that's helped both the arts program and the arts community in the Greater Stoneham area as well as many, many older people throughout the Mystic Valley Elder Services area. Jan, even with her incredible responsibilities at the bank and around town, probably is one of the best attendance records in our club. But it is not an inactive presence that matters, just showing up for a statistic. She always provides critical feedback that helps define a better response or outcome. You know, they say organizations are reflective of their individuals. There's something also to be said that a series of individuals keep going to that same company. And I think it's reflective of the leadership that Jan has brought. You see Ed Doherty, who is on the board of Boys and Girls Clubs. You see Sharon Ayamani, who's on the board of a Boys and Girls Club. You see Mark Drew, who's on the board of a Boys and Girls Clubs. And then you see how every level from teller to manager to executive is involved in some charitable organization. That doesn't just happen. That happens because there is a leadership in that organization that says character matters. Jan is a real treasure. She's, she's not only knowledgeable, but she's a leader. And Jan has uh, brought to the, to the organization through the board a great sense of people and a great uh, technical knowledge of business. And for me, that's how she's a resource. I can call upon Jan for advice for insights and Jan always has an open door always has a always there at the other end of a phone I don't care if she's on vacation or at work or whatever she's doing Jan is always willing to help Rotary like many organizations is at a crossroads we need to refine our membership opportunities how and when we meet who we partner with in service and how we engage people who will share our vision of a better world Point blank, we need more Jan Houghtons. Ever since that time, Jan's become a great supporter of the club personally, and the bank has been unbelievable, providing us support every year, sponsoring our summer camp, and helping out with so many projects around the building, all because of Jan and her leadership, and actually how much she grew to be fond of our facility. Whatever we need, a donation, big or small, they are there. Of course, the driving force behind most of this is Janice. Janice is the kind of person who cares so much about others, especially kids. It is so much more meaningful when we can go to our young women and say, hey, look up Montville Ave. There's the CEO of a bank, is a woman who has broken down barriers, and not recently, did it at a time when the barriers were that much higher. So on behalf of all the people you've impacted, Jan, who you may not even know, Simply by being you and being successful as your profession, uh, you should know thank you. Uh, it's made a difference. It means a lot to people. Stoneham and Stoneham Bank and Zoo New England have all been so lucky to have Jan Oten. And I'm really thrilled that, that they are going to honor Jan by naming the community room after her because Stoneham Bank has, has such a great history of being a, a real member of the community. Uh, but also uh, Jan has a, an incredible legacy she's built of, of positive uh, actions and, and um, things she's done with the community. I can think of no better resident to have a community room named in her honor. The community room being dedicated to Jan I think is so wonderful. Um, Jan is the definition of community. She cares so much greatly about, about the community, 
about organizations that are here to support residents in the community and she's there to support and I just want to say thank you and how appreciative we are at the Senior Center for all that you've done. You are extraordinary. You have done so much for so many. I just could sit here for an hour and talk about all the wonderful things that you've done for us. But I don't have that much time and nor do you. So I just want to say from all of us at Mystic Valley Elder Services, whatever accolades and recognition that you will receive is not enough. So thank you from us at Mystic Valley Elder Services for your service, not only at the Stone and Bank and all your other charitable endeavors, but also as a board member and treasurer officer here at Mystic Valley. Stick with us, Jan, we love you. Um, Jan is what I think of when I think of Stoneham. And I couldn't be happier uh, to learn that Stoneham Bank is honoring Jan with the Jan Houghton Room. I think that'll provide uh, an apt uh, source of inspiration for everyone who meets in that room uh, to do better by our community and to honor Jan's legacy. Jan, Stoneham Bank, thank you very much. Jan, you've been great. This tribute to you by having this room named after you is a fantastic tribute that you are so deserving of. I'm really happy to have known you and to have worked with you and to have been your friend. Thank you for all you've done for our kids here in Billerica, and good luck in the future. Dr. Reiner and I are thrilled about the dedication of the Janice Houghton Community Room. We think it's so richly deserved and we're thankful that you involved us in the dedication. Thank you, Jan, for a lifetime of making a difference. I think it's amazing that that room is being named for Jan. I, I, Stoneham Bank's been such a great supporter of ours, but Jan personally it has just been part of our family for 20 years, and her championing of community organizations like Greater Boston Stage Company, it can't be overstated. It's, uh, it's such a treasure to have her in our community, and she deserves all the accolades and all the awards and all the recognition for what she's done. The community room being dedicated to Janice is a great idea and the perfect person to honor. My hat goes off to the Stoneham Bank for recognizing one of their great employees in a way that she so deserves. When people use the community room, I hope they think of Janice and follow her example on how to give back to the community. Congratulations, Janice. I think it's a well-deserved honor. Jan um, has been an amazing fixture of this community for many years and being in a room where, where positive things for the community happens named after Jan just makes so much sense because she's been such a positive for the community. This room will continue to be a resource for uh, the nonprofits of the area in particular who don't have a place like this to me. It's really quite a resource and I love having Jan's name on it. So um, good luck Jan and thank you for all you've done. We are all deeply grateful to you Jan and wish you all the best. Thank you. Hey!